What up, Trill? What up, Trill? We about to talk about this uh, little TikToker. Says, um, Texas man who makes TikTok relationship content accused of knocking girlfriend in face. Bang, bang. Ladarius Morshawn Brown Lee. That's an interesting name. Ladarius Morshawn Brown Lee, 28, is facing charges of aggravated assault, deadly conduct. Now, this is from July 10th, but I think it said it happened on July 4th. What's going on, Miss Renee? A popular social media personality with over 155,000 followers was arrested last week after Flower Mound police said he shot, bang, bang, his girlfriend in the face following an argument. Ladarius Morshawn Brown Lee, 28, faces one charge of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and three counts of deadly conduct. Jail records show. Flower Mound police said on Facebook. That right now, I'm going back and forth with Facebook. They deactivated my Facebook today. So I'll probably be losing my Facebook and just have to start all over. My personal one and my, my business one. Oh, well, it is what it is, man. Good things don't last forever. Uh, Flower Mound police said on Facebook they were called about 12.50 a.m. Friday to the 1800 block of Flower Mound Road on reports of a shooting and found a 28-year-old victim lying in the road outside of a vehicle. The victim was transported to a hospital with life-threatening injuries. Police said the woman was identified as Brown Lee's girlfriend in an arrest warrant affidavit. Okay, we can get that footage and see where that is. Um, let me see. Brownlee and his girlfriend have a joint TikTok account. Dinona Zahara. In which they documented their relationship. As of Wednesday, the account has millions of views and likes. Police referred to Brownlee as Dino in the affidavit. And the name of the victim is also similar to the name of the TikTok account. Dallas Morning News uh, does not typically identify victims of domestic violence. But you give up their TikTok name. So, I mean, that's, you know, that's revealing enough. Um, facial tattoo seen in Brown Lee's mug shot appears to match one seen on the man's face in his social media videos. According to the affidavit, witnesses to the bang bang told police Brown Lee and his girlfriend got into a heated argument while walking home from Flower Mound Independence Fest. The affidavit said Brown Lee and his girlfriend were in a physical altercation before the witnesses. Brown Lee and his girlfriend got into the car and drove away. All right, so people are saying they seen him leaving the festival. They were arguing. They got in the car. They drove off. While driving, Brown Lee and his girlfriend continued arguing. The affidavit said when the car got to the 1800 block of Fowl Mound Road, Brown Lee stopped, pulled out a hand to Lee and pointed it at the rear passengers before bang banging his girlfriend in the face above her right eye. Oh, so they were in the car with them. See, I thought it said, according to the affidavit, witnesses to, oh, the witnesses to the shooting. The affidavit said Brown Lee and his girlfriend were in a physical altercation before the witnesses. Brown Lee and his girlfriend got into a car and drove away. See, I th I thought this was saying that they were in front of the witnesses and they drove off. But while driving, Brown Lee and his girlfriend continued to argue. And affidavit said, when the car got to the 1800 block of Flower Mound Road, Brown Lee stopped, pulled out the Thule, and pointed it at the rear passengers. So he turned around and said, hey, man, hey. And then he shot the girlfriend in the face above her right eye. So she must have been turned towards him and hit her over here. Well, Tori, one of the witnesses then called 911, and during the call, Brown Lee told the operator he shot his girlfriend. The affidavit said during the police interview, Brown Lee confessed to investigators he had shot the woman. Oh man, so he he knew he messed up. He just went ahead and confessed everything, even if you're guilty, man. I mean, you know, you hear people saying hey, man up, but always get you a lawyer and don't ever say anything to anybody, whether you're guilty or innocent. That's your right. Um, 
According to the affidavit, the witnesses told police Brown Lee and his girlfriend's relationship had been verbally and physically violent in the past. Brown Lee, who addresses who has addresses listed in Irvin and North Lake remained in Denton County Jail Wednesday on a nine hundred thousand dollar bond. It was not clear if he had an attorney. Flower Mound Police spokesperson spokesperson said the victim remained in the hospital as of Wednesday. Nine hundred thousand, ten percent was that little ninety bands. Okay, so they were in the car with him. All right. Well, we got the long crime. Let me see. A popular tip. So this is over on long crime. They'll give us some more details. Now look up another article. Popular TikToker documented his life and relationship with his girlfriend. You want to marry me? Yeah. Are you asking, are you asking me to marry you right now? You going to marry me? Yes. We're married. Okay. I'm just playing, but I never marry us either. <laughs> uh... Yeah, you can already tell this was going nowhere. I never got into that relationship, like couple stuff. I figure if you do like relationships on social media, you got to pretend it and fake it every day. No one's ever that damn happy. Y'all haven't seen me get on here every day and just be extremely happy, man. I just, I don't know, man. Even with like the YouTube, when YouTube was like really starting to pick up, people had like their relationships on here. Ain't no one this damn happy. Uh, I, don't I love you though. No, you don't. I love you. No, you don't. I like to wake up in the morning, roll over, and look at you, and be like, "Damn!" But now he's behind bars, accused of shooting her in the face. When we look at that, that individual, uh, those individuals in the social media posts, they post again the highlights of what's going on. Oh, we're happy here. We're, we're going on dates and doing things of that nature. And you just don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Ladarius Brownlee, known online as Dino, chronicled his romantic life and relationship with his girlfriend, Saida Hashimi, known online as Zara. The duo under the username of Dino and Zara raked more than 150,000 followers on TikTok, and some of their videos massed millions of views. While the two appeared as a doting couple, trouble was brewing behind the scenes, as investigators say a heated argument after a holiday celebration would lead to tragedy. According to the Flower Mound Police Department, the shooting stemmed from a heated argument as the couple were walking home from a 4th of July Independence Fest held in a local park. All right, let me see where this fest is. What did they say it was called? It was called... Uh, Flower Mount Independence Fest. Let me see what this look like. Is this like some cool stuff? Is this like some... Site map. Here we go. Where's Flower Mound at? Is this near like Dallas? Like what city is this? Okay, it's near Dallas, all right. The fight reportedly turned physical. Then they got into their car, driving less than three miles away from the park. When Brownlee stopped the car, he pulled out a tanned Glock firearm from the driver's door pocket and allegedly shot Zara in the face above her right eye. 
I mean, anytime you hear a story such as that, it's going to be just astounding to where you are just taken aback. That any person can be charged with such a heinous crime. That is something that is definitely intentional. Um, so there's nothing that we could say that wouldn't be intentional about that action. And so it's, it's definitely something that takes me off guard. When officers arrived at the scene, they discovered the 28-year-old lying on the ground outside of the car. Brownlee was still on the scene when officers arrived and arrested without incident. Shooting someone really at any point is something that takes a, a lot of gumption from any person, right? But when you are right at the person's face, you're seeing them eye to eye, having eye contact, um, that takes more than anything in the world. Again, we go back to intentionality uh, with something like that. And so this individual in this particular case was charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. I'm surprised it wasn't, he wasn't charged with attempted murder. Um, honestly, because it's just that it rises to that level. And I wouldn't be surprised if they increase it to that charge. Texas-based criminal defense attorney Bridget Williams explains he now faces a lengthy sentence behind bars. If he's convicted of the aggravated assault with a deadly weapon because there's a dating relationship, then again, that makes it a first-degree felony. And so he could be facing anywhere between no less than five years in prison, no more than 99 years in prison. God, <laughs> I thought she was going to say no less than five and no more than like 20. She said no more than 99 years. Were they in Texas? He a black guy and there's a white woman. We can go ahead and give him. I'm looking at the scale around 40 to 60 years is where I'm looking at them giving him. Uh, yeah, he's cooked. He's, he's not getting... He's not getting the five-year minimum out of this. I think he's going to go ahead and get like a 40 to 50 piece. I don't know how Texas is, but he's probably going to have to serve at least 30. Do it all the way, man. It's niggas. Present. Um, and so if he's he's facing that, then it would definitely be a first degree felony charge. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he, he may, maybe even takes a plea agreement on something like this because he's given two confessions, I believe, one in an, an hour one call and then also to investigators at a later time. Zara was rushed to the hospital after the shooting as she sustained life threatening injuries. And at this time, her condition is unclear. But a police spokesperson would tell WFAA in Texas she'll <laughs> likely remain in the hospital for quite some time. Jail records show Brownlee faces charges including aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and deadly conduct discharging. Man, I know he ain't got an OTF tattoo. Man, you are not OTF. And like I say, man, don't make any confessions. Like, even if you're guilty of something... Don't tell them you did anything. Get you a lawyer and just shut up. Now, like I said, they said a minimum of five years, but since the relationship was involved, it'll be a first degree. They said from five to 99, just hearing all of this goofy stuff. Yeah, he's probably about to get at least a 40 piece. A firearm. But Williams explains those charges could change if Zara's condition takes a turn for the worst. Whenever a person is charged immediately, sometimes the police department will charge the person with something that they know that they can prove. In this particular instance, the person is being charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Okay, we know that he assaulted her. It was aggravated because there was a weapon that was involved. It's a deadly weapon. That's a pretty much um, straightforward case there, right? And and normally that case is that charge is going to be a second degree felony. However, when there is a dating relationship or a family type of relationship that's involved, it enhances that charge to a first degree felony. So aggravated assault with a deadly weapon with a dating relationship, now he's being charged with a first degree felony. Um, and then in addition to that, the discharge of a firearm within a municipality, that is a, a misdemeanor case in, in Texas. And so um, he has two charges right now. Now, however, I do not, uh, I would not be surprised if they increase that charge to attempted murder if this young lady survives. If she passes away, then of course, I believe he'll be charged with murder. In Texas, we, we only have first degree murder. Then we also have like manslaughter and then things of that nature go and go down from there. But here it's murder. And if 
this particular person is charged with murder, then his punishment range can be anywhere from no less than five years up to 99 years in prison. The punishment range is the same, even though on the aggravated assault with a deadly weapon with the dating relationship, it's all of a first degree felony case. So either way, he's he facing a first degree murder charge. It's just a different charge. If she passes away, it will be murder. I didn't know that. So they said in Texas, it's only first degree. There ain't no second or third degree down there. It's just all first degree murder. Yeah, he's done, man. And it makes you wonder, like not joking around about the situation, but what did she do to make him that mad that he felt like he had to pull a gun out on her? You know what I mean? Like, what what could make you like unless somebody trying to rob me or trying to you know say set me up i'm not come on man but look at him though man you can tell this goofy nigga man he got a little bit of fame this is what kendrick lamar was talking about there's a lot of goofies with a check man just because you get money don't mean you cool you still whack you still whack. Brownlee reportedly confessed to the shooting on a 911 call and again to investigators. And since he stayed on the scene after the shooting and didn't flee, Williams says it's possible that could help his case. I am a little surprised that he stayed at the scene and that he gave a confession on the 911 call because that's immediately, right? So that's in the heat of the moment when everything is going on. You give a confession immediately right off the 911 call saying this is what happened. Um, now, I don't know if he says, well, maybe she launched out at me. I don't know what happened prior to that happening. Um, but all we know is that he gives a confession on the 911 call. Now, does it, is it helpful for his case? It may be helpful for his case and that he stayed when we talk about negotiations and mitigating, saying that he didn't run away from it. He takes responsibility for it fully. Right. And that may mean that he knows that he may need help. Right. Um, and he's not running away from the responsibility. So that could be helpful in mitigating the circumstances and mitigating the punishment whenever we're negotiating with the prosecution on his behalf. Um, so I thought like that would be helpful. Uh, but as far as the charge for him, the charge is going to be the same. We'll just go back to that discovery to determine if all of his rights were given to him at the time of giving those confessions. Um, and was that something that can be admitted into evidence? With the two previously chronicling their lives on social media. This is why I hate going shopping with you. <laughs> we stop it. Motherfucker want to stop it. Every stop, every stop, every stop. I'm talking about every last one of them. No, I'm never taking you shopping again. No, I'm not taking you shopping anymore. Show them what you got. Then motherfucker come here to get out of the goddamn Christmas tree. Like, I ain't gonna get this damn Christmas tree for my room. Gonna make me mad. I am never Christmas. going with you anywhere again because you do not let me buy what I want to buy. Because you just be spending money on nothing. Because I'm only trying to shop and make the house cute. Just shopping right here. I'm sorry, man. This stuff is just corny to me. I, I never could get into this. Like, I couldn't even watch relationship channels. This stuff is just so boring and whack. It's like you got to force yourself to do this. It ain't natural. You know what I mean? But I'm about to go on this dude's TikTok. I'm about to see how corny he was. We're going to point out where we started seeing some warning signs in this guy man because he sound whack as fuck the dude's whack man thank you so much williams explains their online personas might not have shown the full extent of their relationship <laughs> no i don't like danish tell investigators the two had been verbally and physically violent in the past I think you hit that right on the nail. Social media is such a highlight reel of everyone's life. And I, I, sometimes it's very difficult for several people, millennials, Gen Z, Gen Alpha, when they're looking at social media to compare our lives to things that are going on in social media. Um, but when we look at that, that individual, uh, those individuals in the social media posts, they post again the highlights of what's going on. Oh, we're happy here. We're, we're going on dates and doing things of that nature. And you just don't know what's 
going on behind the scenes. I think there was um, some other witnesses who testified that they, or not testified, but talked about that the couple had um, previous history of having frequent arguments. Um, but those are not the things that you see on social media. You see the highlights, you see the parts where we're in love um, and happy. And so sometimes it's very difficult for people to make sure they separate that and you don't know exactly what's going on on social media. At this time, Brownlee remains behind bars with a more than half a million dollar bond. Whenever a judge takes into consideration giving Bond a case, they take into multiple multiple factors into consideration. Is the person a flight risk? Do they have the means to become a flight risk? Does he have the means to escape and go to another country or something like that, right? Um, is he a danger to himself and others? He is a danger to himself and others. He is being charged with the heinous crime of shooting another person in the face, right? Um, does he have any community ties? So does he have any people in the community that can be so supportive of him. And then lastly, does he have the means in order to um, post the bond? So there are multiple things that go into consideration uh, when a judge is giving a person a bond and for that amount that the judge considers to give as well. I am not surprised at all that the amount is what it is. It is excessive, but this is an excessive offense that he's being charged with. And like we talked about before, whenever a person, he has a, uh, I would say, the uh, danger to himself and others, then that is something that it, it meets that, that, that burden. It meets the, the charge. And even if Zara survives the horrific shooting, it'll be up to prosecutors to determine if Brownlee's charges will get upgraded. In our state of Texas, a lot of people think that it's always the alleged victim versus the defendant. And that's just not true. Once a charge comes forward, it is now the state of Texas versus that defendant. And the alleged victim is just now a witness for the state of Texas. And so the state of Texas is represented by the district attorney's office. And the district attorney's office has the sole discretion of what the charges are and what the plea agreements are going forward. They will take into account what the victim's opinion is and what the victim wants, but they are no way obligated to utilize and say uh, and do what it is that that victim wants them to do. They will take it into uh, consideration when they are making the charges and when they are moving forward with plea agreements. But if Ladarius Brownlee, aka Dino, is still behind bars in the Denton County Jail held on. I gonna say, man, they ain't had no energy in this video. All right, so we got his TikTok. Yeah, they ain't had no energy. I was listening to that like, man. Let me see. Now, there was a, uh, there is a video that says. Stop talking to me. <laughs> no, wait. Sis, sis, no, I'm, I'm sis. literally so not. This no, the stop, question. No, this, I'm nowhere done. No, you listen, already this, said you're going to be buried next really, to your wife. This, <laughs> so you're, you already told me that you're not going to. So like if I die today and it was your fault you didn't marry me. You're not going to be buried next to me. You're going to go be buried next to your wife. Yeah, I was reading somewhere where it said that the judge. Says that the judge like uh, dismissed part of the, the phone call, but I'm trying to. Let me see, where is that at? I definitely can't find it, but I just had to. Yeah, man, these TikToks definitely not about to go through all this, man. This just look whack as hell. But, you know, he about to get 40 years, though. Uh, let me see. When you realize bloating and discomfort don't have to be routine everything changes in hundreds of TikToks together i've been trying to get you hello <laughs> i've been trying yeah. to get your attention yeah. this whole time darius brownlee and zara hashimi chronicle their relationship go watch our youtube go subscribe to our youtube channel now there are more than 150,000 followers want to know what happened and how this internet couple could end like this. 
Hashimi shot in the head and Brownlee facing charges. He did it. Like, look how I look, right? He got himself a, he has a whole suit. After 4th of July fireworks at Flower Mounds Bakersfield Park, a police affidavit says the couple got into a heated argument. Then police say it turned physical. And as he drove down Flower Mound Road, Brownlee stopped the vehicle and with his left hand removed a tan Glock firearm for the driver door pocket. The affidavit says he shot Hashemi in her head just above her right eye. Because I'm starving, so hurry up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The affidavit says Brownlee confessed first on a 911 call and then to yeah. investigators. Yeah. It says the others in the car told police the couple had been verbally and physically violent in the past. Go ahead, princess. Get in the car. Thank you. You're welcome, princess. The unseen side of a relationship posted for all to view. <laughs> police tell me they're keeping a close eye on Hashimi's condition. They say she'll be in the hospital likely for a long time. And they say they could still add more charges against her one-time boyfriend. In Flower Mound, I'm Cole Sullivan. Yeah, man, he's done. <laughs> Let me see what else they got on TikTok talking about this guy. There's not too many articles. He's in jail right now for 900000 Let me see. That's July 5th. I ain't really seeing nothing else there, but um, boyfriend from popular TikTok duo arrested, allegedly shooting girlfriend in the face after heated argument. Why is Terrell Davis trending? Um, but when we post a video document in relation, we know that. Also, it was 1 a.m. I was thinking it was in the afternoon. In a statement from police on Facebook, officer said the shooting occurred close to 1 a.m. on July 5th. This is after the festival on July 4th. He also faces three charges of daily misconduct, a bond of $900,000. He's a, a Texas resident, remains detained as of Thursday. Request for comment. So law and crimes trying to get a comment. They don't have that. Uh, we already went over how many TikToks they got. Yeah, so there's really not much up. I mean, I guess once he gets seen in court, I mean, we can do a follow up on him. But I mean, that's pretty much it right there. Now we got some body cam footage, but yeah, this guy's cooked. You You knew he was cooked from here. Since he wants me to drive, I got you, Princess. Hold up, hold up, Princess. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you open it up. Go ahead, Princess. Get in the car. Thank you. You're welcome, Princess. Go ahead. Oh, let me take the, let me take your bag for you. Oh, you got it. Don't touch me. Oh, okay, Princess. Make sure you close my door too. Okay, Princess. You fit? Uh -oh, Here, yeah. let's close my door. Let's fix you up. Thank you. I feel like. Since you don't want to drive, all right, little mama, I got you. Just sit tight, little mama. Come on, big dad. I got you. Yeah. All right. Since he wants me to drive. We lost the youth, man. We lost the youth. Like, there, I'm not making videos. I'm not calling nobody Big Daddy, Pauls. Not even joking around. I'm not letting a girl call me Little Mama or Princess. He's the type of nigga that'll shoot a woman. That's exactly who you think about when you think, okay, who would commit a crime like this? Well, there's one example right there. It's just too many suspect videos. Be doing. Even your daughter is like, what is this? 
Girl, I'm as confused as you are. I know, mamas. I am as confused as you are. It's that new, that new fashion shit. That new fashion. When you start seeing niggas rock this shit right here, you start seeing niggas take pictures like this and shit. This that, uh... Can I drop it? This is Sparta. Oh. Yeah. Is it? You see the drip? Is it? I'm gonna make sure my, make sure my thing caught you the right side. This called the, uh... This called the, oh my god, the go peasant, home. The peasant sheep. They call it the peasant sheep. You know, VC. Look at this dude, man. This dude's whack, man. Exactly who you expected when we started listening to this damn article, man. I just don't know. What the fuck is he doing? Yeah, man, I can't watch this shit, bro. <laughs> that's the that's the end of this. We'll we'll get an update. We'll get up. She wanted to live that. Like, you know, no disrespect to her, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully she recovers from it. He gets the time he deserves, but I mean Yeah, I mean we 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 see what was going on here. She wanted to live this this black lifestyle, well, it comes with the ignorant nigga shit, you know? It's unfortunate, but this is where we are today, and hopefully this man gets the time he deserves, and she has a speedy recovery. I mean, they said she's going to probably be in the hospital for a while. What up, Eric? But that that's about it on, on that. We'll get into the body cam footage, but I'll keep um, an update on this, and we'll see if anything, if anything comes out of it, but I don't expect anything less than about 40 years. I mean, it is what it is, man. You know, get involved with that lifestyle. You want you to cool black guy that rides around with the gun, does ignorant shit. Well, this is what comes with it. This is that lifestyle. It's unfortunate, but it is. I mean, this is what it is, man. There's nothing I can do about it, man. Don't get mad at me, OT. I'm just telling you, like, you know I'm telling the truth, man. You know I'm telling the truth. Like, just look at this. Like, oh, let me find, let me just find one. Because I know no one, no, no sane, no sane adult. It's gonna do this shit like this shit is just whack to me, man. I never, un I, I mean, I get it. You can get, I don't know. All of your motherfuckers don't know. I'm sick of this shit. Sick of what? I'm sick of you and all your motherfucking siblings every damn day. I'm sick of seeing y'all ass. Y'all need to go somewhere <laughs> on a vacation or something. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> I'm sick of all y'all ass. And what about you? <laughs> I live here. Y'all need to go on vacation or something. Y'all need to take y'all ass to the Bahamas. <laughs> Far, far, far away from this motherfucker. Okay, well, bye. Maybe you should go do that. What about you get out? And stop inviting your goddamn other sisters over here every goddamn day. You want to come over here. <laughs> oh, I'm at the I'm at Irish house. So y'all should uh, come over here and go to fuck that. I can take y'all at home. Me? You said I always go to town. I'm going to go swimming across the street. Me. Yeah, she going to go swimming in her goddamn own house. In that goddamn swamp in the backyard. <laughs> But you see how he talking? This I told you we gonna find where this nigga was showing who he really was. Oh, that's what they talking about in the comments. Look, even in the comments they talking about it. They laughing, but he dead ass. Her family need to use all these videos. Seeing this now, you know he meant every single. Yeah, man, you. I, I told you we gonna find where this dude who he really was. These videos, he joking around. Y'all think he joking around, but he dead serious. 
he seemed like the nigga that was trying to control some shit. That's what it seemed like. Seemed like he was trying to control her, keep the family away. She do what he do because that money's coming in. Now he runs the account. You see, his name is first Dino and Zara. His name is first. When that money come in from these TikToks, when that money come in from this YouTube, it's going to him. Oh yeah, you know how this is. The money going to him. He trying to control everything. She probably said some slick shit, and he started to lose it because she was clowning them in front of everybody. They out at the fest. They probably losing that game. She clowning. She probably recording something. He talking about no, nah, don't put that on the TikTok. No, nah, don't do that. They get in the car. She's still clowning them. The the people in the back like, hey, chill, Dino. They they just joking around. No oh, man, fuck that. Then the nigga got in his feelings. Man, you know a corny nigga when you see one. Let's see what else these dudes got on here. Get out. No, I don't know why you wake up with an attitude all the time. Get out. Because I go to sleep. No, it's my turn to, to have an attitude. Night. I go to sleep next to you every night. Break your teeth. Fuck is you talking about? Don't nobody give a fuck. Stop playing with me. I don't know why you want to wake up with a Stop bad talking attitude. To me. Stop talking to me. No, Stop now I have an me. attitude. Who cares? Me, I care. Stop talking to me. Nah, how you gonna get attitude? Because I got attitude. Because you have an attitude, so it's so freaking annoying. Because it, it's like when I stay calm and I'm nice to you and I'm kind to you, you just want to get meaner now and meaner. Just talking and just talking. No. Just... They ain't pretending right now. This is real deal right here. They not pretending right now. She's getting this shit documented. This is how he really acts. You just want to get meaner and meaner. No, you shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I don't care. So, the fuck? The fuck out. No, on. don't tell them what to do. I tell them whoever fuck I want to do what the fuck. I Lose your attitude. Do do You're grumpy for no reason. Lose your attitude. No, you grumpy for no reason. No, no I'm, I'm not grumpy. The, the heck? She I'm trying to figure out. Want. No, you're annoying. I said, get out my house. You know, get out my room. I don't even motherfucker. Don't know. I'm sick of this shit. Sick of what? I'm sick of you and all your motherfucking siblings every damn day. I'm sick of seeing y'all ass. Y'all need to go somewhere on a vacation or something. Leave me the fuck alone. I'm sick of all y'all ass. I told you. Boy, you can sense a lane from a mile away. This gentleman right here, a couple of miles away, maybe 10. 10 nautical miles. Because I'd be like... Sorry, Carl, we're holding... See, here we go. Here we go, car footage. This is how he really acts. He gets annoyed quick. Like OT said, they do it for the content, but he gets annoyed quick. You think these are playing, but it's a little aggressive to just be making some TikToks. Because I'd be like... Thank Sorry, car, we're holding the spot. They can't get this spot. Are they trying to take our spot? I think so. Look, no, tell them. Tell them we're holding the spot. They can't get it right there. They can't even get in. Well, tell them. She's going to try to scoot up. It's cool. We can go in the garage. No, let's just tell them. Uh, how about you tell them? I, that's what I said. Put on the window. Hey, we're sorry. We're saving the spot. Yeah, you can. You park it a little further back. Our friend is parking there. How do you save it? It is a public place. Do you guys live here? Yes, I live here. Right over here. Okay. okay we're fine. not going to be like that. That's fine. You can have it. Yeah, we're going to go first. move a little further? You can I'm about to, be, I'm about to move up. Nice Let's get you. back in the car. So he told this lady he'll air it out, get in your car, I'll air this. That nigga been trying to use that gun, man. That's why you can't get these little niggas guns. You trying to save a parking spot. First of all, you can't save a damn parking spot. And then you tell them to get back in their car before they air it out because you in the wrong. I told you we gonna find it. We gonna find who the real nigga is. I thought we was about to end this, but no, nah, we're going down the rabbit hole right now. They about to use all of this against him in the court. They about to use it. You've been threatening people. Get back in the car before I air it. Yeah, it's on now. He done. He's cooked. Thank Just you. get back in the car. Nice. All right, this bitch out. <laughs> I'm not gonna do all that. What the fuck? Like, kindness goes a long way. Yeah, they're they Japanese kindness. Dino! What is she doing? What's she, actually, oh. what's she doing? Help him, yeah. Take a picture if you want to, girl. Is that what she's doing? That's what she looked like she wanted to do.
because I'd be like, you know, so this guy was a fake tough guy. Can you get ready for the video? <sighs> Stop being annoyed. I don't like the lighting. It makes me look weird. There you go. Thank you. You happy? No. Do I look happy? Yeah. Do I honestly look happy to you? Yeah. Do I look happy? Do I look happy? No. You never look happy. I do look happy. You don't ever look happy. You always look annoyed. See? See? Just because you put happy. a smile. I don't give a shit. Just because you put a smile on your face doesn't mean you look happy. This is me looking It's happy. fake. See, this one. This one. Man, this shit. I don't care. Don't do it no more. And why you always gotta take up the whole camera? Like, don't nobody even be wanting to see you. Don't nobody want to see you. Right. Nobody want to see you. <laughs> That's not what I do. <laughs> like, god yeah, damn, don't nobody like do this shit over that way. <laughs> Dog. This is what I'm talking. This shit is just whack, man. Like I'm watching this shit. You can tell this nigga's annoyed. She seem annoying, like Eric said. Like man, and you know he got that gun right there. They say he take it with his left hand. The little tan, little Glock, the little tan Glock. The left hand is right there. He already told a lady that he hear it out. So yeah, you see where this relationship was going. She thinks this shit's cute. She thinks this toxic stuff is cool because they see it on goddamn the shade room and stuff. It ain't cool in real life. <laughs> Let me see. Because all of these videos, all, every single video is the same thing. They ain't doing nothing but arguing with each other. You love oh, yeah. Y'all not hitting me with no copyright. Get out of here. Is it cheating if I get a hug from a guy? And he it's already cheating. It's, and, already cheating. it's already cheating if you hug somebody. You already cheating if you. And he leaves his cologne. You already cheating if you hug somebody. You already cheating if you hug him. You already cheating if you hug him. If he leaves his cologne, can you listen? If he leaves his cologne scent on my jacket and then I'm just smelling it like, smells so good. Is that cheating? He gave me a hug and his cologne scent on my jacket and I just can't stop smelling it. No, stop playing with me. Is that cheating? All right. Is it cheating if a if a if a female hug me and they leave their perfume scent on my on my body and I just walk around to myself, oh my gosh, she smells so wonderful. No, that's not cheating. Really? <laughs> Cause why you want that's just fruity. Why you want to smell such as perfume on you? <laughs> yeah, why are we breaking up? You um, can't do what I do. So you can't do that. I can be like, damn, this smells so good. So you can do that? Come back and give me a hug. All right. <laughs> like, damn. Don't forget, we one week away from summer. So. <laughs> he just said, we one week away from summer. This is what, June 26th? No, May 26th? So in less than uh, less than a month, she may have hugged somebody at the festival. I want to know what happened. The 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 two witnesses they need to tell what happened at the festival because that's where it came from. She probably hugged somebody or some dude that been DMing her. She seen him out and about, but I'm thinking she was clowning this dude. And he got upset when they got in the car and she kept clowning him. You see how she keep doing all like she thinking that okay this shit's funny he playing around but this nigga been for real the whole time. I mean I, I hope she gets better but you got to make better judgments in life man this dude this dude's whack. This don't seem like her like being natural. This is her doing it for content man like. It's unfortunate, man, but social media gets people fucked up, man. Let's see if there's anything else on here, man. We are ready. Annoying my man while he playing 2K to see his reaction. 
I can't leave you. I'm in the middle of the game. But it's time to do. Okay, we'll leave when I get done. But it's time to do. And that ain't even 2K that's mad. I'm so hungry. Did you order more food? You can get some food. Are you gonna meet it? Yeah. What's time we got? So you don't want it? Nah, man, if you're hungry, you can eat it. <laughs> you're just gonna let me eat your food like that? Yeah. It was that easy? You don't want to bite? You don't want to bite? Oh, you don't want to. I don't want to. I thought it was easy. I thought. Wait, I thought you were going to give it to me. So, right. you manipulated me. Yeah, I saw, I saw that. Excuse me. The way you looked at it was not given. I wanted it. It was given. I don't really want it. I just want to eat it because you said I could. And that's but it was giving that I just go back and just gave me your food. Oh, you said that? Well, then don't eat it. Give me a bite. Stop barking. Give me a bite. Give me just a bite. Remember, what's he looking at? You can't even see. Give me a bite. Can you dip it in some sauce? You said a bite. I ain't got no I sauce. I don't eat it dry. I said I ain't got no sauce to dip it in. Give it to me. Okay. You're selfish. I'll cook my food in the morning. I said you can have it in the first. And people were watching this shit. This shit, they ain't doing a damn thing. And people were watching this shit. People, I think they were consuming this content just to see them argue because outside of them arguing, there's no. There's no entertaining factor in these two. They born as hell. They both whack. It seemed like she pretended too hard. And this nigga, he a fake tough guy. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and go to this body cam footage, man. I hope she get a speedy recovery. They go ahead and get this man 40 years. I don't wish, you know, saying jail on nobody. But, man, you shot a woman in the head because you were mad at some bullshit. So, yeah, go ahead and give him about 40. You know what I'm saying? Give him 40 unless she passes. But yeah, like they they not even recording it. They're recording sitting in the kitchen talking about I'm going to eat eat your chicken. No, you didn't want the chicken. It's not like doing any pranks or anything. This is just a fucking lazy content. But we seen who he was, though, man. Yeah, I mean, oh well. Let's continue on. Let's get up out of here. Um, Ladarius Brownlee, five year minimum, ninety nine max. Hopefully, they give him the max. Get him up out of here. Hand his TikTok over to me, so I can go tell all of his followers and stuff. It's over with. It's over with. On behalf of the state of Texas, and the more you know, guilty. That nigga's guilty. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. All right. So leaving from here, we do got body cam footage. We got body cam footage of um, an incident at Walmart and an incident at McDonald's. We'll probably do, we'll do the McDonald's one first. I think it's like a stabbing or something. Let me see. 